Hi, I'm Claire Grosner, and you're watching What I'm Doing Right Now. Atkins Bar, Breakfast of Champions, Diet A&W, Beverage of Champions. Kitty. He's been getting more bold in his attempts to run out the front door. It's just like old times, back when you didn't have a car. Those were simpler times. I quite like having a car though. Do you feel good about your purchase, as in that particular vehicle? several times now to pack up a bunch of equipment, drive long distances, so it's coming in. So today on the to-do list, we have an episode of SciShow Kids. I have a meeting with Rodney, who works for VidCon, about some music that they want for the NerdCon Nerdfighteria event that's happening in February. I'm delivering a donation from Cinema Studios to the Missoula Food Bank. I'm meeting with an artist named Claire Emery, who is doing some commemorative prints for DFTBA that are going to be available for sale in the new year. Then I'll probably be working on Kate Tectonics for the rest of the evening. Let's get started. Lindsay Doe. Yeah. Why do you have meat? So that I can make the dinner oh. for my daughter's last day. Meat dinner? Your daughter's last day of what? Of living with me and then she moves to Washington. Oh, sounds sad making, but no, it's great. maybe also good depending on what she's doing with her life in Washington. Yeah. I don't know. She's getting a new family and it's so exciting. Oh, well, nice. It's just temporary. Nice meat. We like your meat. Today has been a very productive day so far. Finished a bunch of complexity projects, like SciShow and Crash Course things. I met with that girl that I was talking about doing the commemorative print. That all went really well. We're gonna be shooting some interviews with her next week. Now I'm headed over to the Cinema Studios office so we can have a production meeting. Donald Trump. I don't agree with anything he has to say. I think he is bad for the job. It's gonna hurt a lot of people. I could be one of those people that is affected by some of his decisions, but I also think it's a good thing. And I know that's not gonna be a popular thing to say, but the reasoning behind that, sometimes you need to hit rock bottom to know like, okay, I don't wanna be like this anymore. Where the nation is divided, we aren't talking to each other. It's my side versus your side. I know I don't want the world to be this way, so I'm gonna do some things, my own part, to, to change it. And if it had gone with Hillary, it probably wouldn't have. Even if, if Hillary was president, I would be complacent. Because I think, well, this is, this is, this is the best. This is the best for right now. Whereas I think now we have higher standards. Am I making sense? I think uh, experiencing and, and admiring the good qualities of a bad situation are good. But I do not think that that means that the bad situation is good. The optimist in me believes that catastrophe isn't the only way to change. I would have preferred to not hit rock bottom because I feel like I feel like it's people on the left who are the people that are saying, "Oh man, now is the time to change," and those are the people who voted the way they did. Personally, I feel like the silver lining is that I also agree that if Hillary had been elected, I would feel more complacent than I do right now. I've always been interested in getting involved in politics and trying to use my ability to be charismatic and spew words at people to help bring about positive change, but the fact that things happened the way that they have makes me feel like, okay, I should get off my ass and stop thinking like, down the road I'll do this and I should do this now. I feel very comfortable saying this situation is motivating me to want to be more active. I don't feel as comfortable assuming that that's going to be a universal or even a majority feeling. Fair, fair, fair enough. I, I, I agree with you on that one because I know for me that's how, I, that's how I'm going to feel about it. I have a Kate Tectonics related question. Let's go there! We can't, for whatever reason, trying to open up the project file in the new version of Premiere causes all of the After Effects compositions that are nested in that project to come in at the wrong resolution. Go Adobe! Go Adobe! <laughs> 
<laughs> How does it make you feel, Todd? It's snowing. Yeah, man. Look at that. All right. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> it is 10.20 in the evening. I am very sleepy. Caitlin is coloring Kate Tectonics things. There is more work to do on this episode than I anticipated. I suppose at this point I should just anticipate that I'm underestimating how much time it's gonna take all the things. <sighs> We're calling it quits for the night. I'm trying to prioritize sleep more. Maybe I said that this morning, I don't remember. Whereas the old me, the me of a week ago, would have said, no, we gotta stay up and finish this. The new me is saying, I gotta go to sleep. You were saying at home, like a couple days ago, you can finally feel that you can't stay up as late as you used to be. I definitely hit some kind of wall where I could feel my body just saying, you cannot keep doing this. It is one of the most concrete ways that I have felt that I am not 18 years old anymore.